Good afternoon all. Today I've decided I'm going to talk a bit more in depth about my uh, road lamp collection. So, without further ado, let's go into the bedroom where I've got a bunch of crap set up. I'm going to start with the Dorman collection. Um, they actually go but well. Dorman Smith still exist, but it seems like they've split themselves into two companies. There's a Dorman Smith that does a lot of uh, electrical products like um, RCDs and various things like that. And then there's the Unipart Dorman. Um, which still makes certain lamps. Most of these here are no longer manufactured. So I'm going to start right over the back here. And I'm going to start with these. Now, I have found out quite a lot about these. All I knew is when I bought these on eBay is that they're ex-British Rail. And that one's got top lamp written on it. If I flick that one over, that's got bottom lamp. And apparently these would have been in some sort of box. Likely stacked like that. Um, and I've been told they were used to mark the beginnings and the ends of um, work zones on the railway line. So train drivers knew where the zone started and where it ended. Now, most lamps, even though they will take two of these batteries, which I've got under here, two of these uh, big six volt batteries, lantern batteries as they're commonly called, um, most of them will work perfectly fine on one. But I think the idea is if you put two in, the batteries last twice as long. With these ones, and one other that I've got here, you have to have both in. So, and if I remember correctly, you put both batteries in the top one. You don't have to put any batteries in this one. There's not even a switch on it. And you just plug these in together, like that. And they're wired, so they flash in sync. So these are... My only two X railway lamps from Dorman Smith I've got. They're based on the traffic lamp. Or the traffic light, I should say, not the traffic lamp. Uh, I did actually get three of those. I got an odd one which I gave to my stepdad because he likes uh, railway stuff. Next up, the traffic light. This one is actually in pretty good condition. I nearly dropped it, <laughs> having said that. I haven't got a bolt in a lot of these because it was easier to store them up on the shelf. You could always get that extra little bit there so I could get them closer without um, with the bolts out. Anyway, that is just the bog standard. That will run on just one 6 volt battery. Over the back there, we've got the Dorman Smith Traffy Lamp. Those... I think Americans might think they look familiar, or American collectors will think they look familiar. That is because I don't know the exact model they're based on, but it does say on these somewhere where I can find it. Okay, it doesn't seem to say it on this one. But I've got three of these, and they are all slightly different. That one's got like a plastic plaque on there, so I presume that's newer than this one. So it's got a metal saw plaque on there. And that one's got a metal plaque with some sort of gasket around the top there. Uh, I'm judging by that one, it's been in the sun. But, they all do work. They're all from the 70s. And as you can see, the bottom's just fallen straight out of that one. <laughs> Supplied by George Pike. Oh, 
there we go. This one's got the sticker on it. Transistorized warning light. Made in England by Dorman and Smith Limited Preston. Under license from R.E. Dietz Co. USA. So, I know there is an R.E. Dietz lamp that look just like these, but I can't remember the model number. But, uh, these are probably the oldest electrical lamps I've got. I'm trying to do this one-handed and to put that base back on. Right, moving along. We then got the Dorman Highlight, which is based on the Traffilite body. But this one's got a blue lens. Right, because that one is an ex police one. This one also requires both batteries to work. Um, and unlike all the others, which have the um, tamper-proof switches, like these ones have got the little hole in the front there to turn it on, these traffy lights have it in the end here. You push a little stick or something in there and push the switch one way and then push it the other way to turn them on and off. This one's got a button on the front for um, quicker deployment. The police would have used these at... Um, roadblocks and whatnot and to mark incidents that's another ebay find i can't remember what ebay i actually got that from now though but uh, those are hard to get hold of um, these ones are actually fairly hard to get hold of now and are actually um, holding a lot of money especially on ebay uh, we then got this one, which is another traffic light, or at least it looks like it until I uh, flip it over. And I believe, or at least the eBay ad said this was an X fast service one, so it's got amber one side, blue the other, and that's a static, that's a steady burn that one. I can't remember, because I've got one, two, three standard traffic lights but I can't remember what features they have. I can't remember if they flash or if they've got photo cells or anything in them. But yeah. It's just another standard traffic light like the one up there. And there's another traffic light. Which has uh, definitely seen use. But I don't mind them when they've seen use like this because it just shows they've been uh, used for their intended purpose. Uh, the only other different traffic light I have is this one. Again, looks the same, but it's just got a blank plate on that side, so it's mono directional, not bi directional. Uh, then we've got the Dorman 360. These are very hard to get hold of. And they did a white lens version of these, but I don't believe they were available in the UK. Um, these were actually made back in the day, back in the 90s, I think. Could have been 80s. I can't remember. For... Um, British Gas, and I remember seeing some of these about. So, I'm very happy to have that one. But then I've got three Dorman Traffy Lamp E's. Uh, despite looking absolutely identical, again, there is differences. I've put stickers on. <coughs> this one is a flashing with photo cell, so I'll only come on at night. This one is Steady Burn with Photo Cell. What's this one? And that one is just Flash, no Photo Cell. And I do believe they did a Steady Burn, no Photo Cell as well, so I need to find the fourth version of that. I've got three. <laughs> 
I've got fourth on the way. But we'll uh, get to that. Oh, there is another traffy lamp, traffy light style, sorry, that I need, and that's called the Synchro Guide. Actually, there's a few versions of that I don't have, but they are very, very hard to get. And usually when they come up on eBay, they are expensive. Mind you, the Synchro Guide versions are expensive anyway. Right, I've also got one, two of these, which were made in the late 1990s. In fact, there is a date on this one, 1998. Um, for British Telecom but the story goes or at least the story I've heard is that after BT ordered these they backed out of the um, contract and left a Dortmund with a bunch of these so I've got to and you can pick these up relatively cheap on eBay they do pop up now and again <clears throat> in fact all of these lamps on here I got on eBay. Um, some were generously given to me, such as that one that was generously sent to me, and I can't remember if it was that one or that one that was sent to me as well from the same person, as well as one of these. Because some of them they just you get times on eBay where they just won't sell. Uh might as well do these. This is the Dorman Eco Light. I can't remember if it was this one I had the broken circuit on. I think it was actually. And the same person that sent me these and the other two free lamps um, sent me a circuit for that one. And this is the Dorman Uni Lamp. Which I've got a hell of a lot of those to arrive. I do like this style actually. This is a very, very good lamp. Um, very good clear lens. Very good visibility. And I actually like the design of this. Out of all the um, 360 style lensed lamps I've got, this is probably my favourite. Um, this has got the full body sticker. Reflective sticker. I believe the 10 I've got coming in the mail I've only got a sticker that comes down to there it's like a little stripe that goes around it I'm not sure what that is if that signifies anything these have also got a built-in cone bracket you see that, uh, let's give it a squeeze and then sit that on top of your cone if you so wished for someone to run off with <laughs> but I can assure you I have not stolen any of these you can get these quite easily on eBay Here's the standard Dorman cone light. Just takes the one six volt battery and it's switched when you put it on the cone. Um, and they were designed for motorways because of how dangerous it is to um, work on the motorways. These were designed so when the guys are standing on the back of the lorries, they can just drop this on the cone. It switches on. They haven't got to mess around with the switch because. I'm going to show you the switch is just in there. It's literally that. So when the current goes on the current, it just pushes that down. These have also got a photo cell in them, so they turn off during the day. They're LED as well. Actually, I think... Yeah, these are the only Dorman LED lamps I've got, and I think they do an LED version of the Traffy lamp as well calling it a traffic lamp. That one's a traffic lamp, that one's the traffic light. <laughs> I think it's just force of habit. Anyway, here's another Dorman cone light. The difference with this one is it's got this little sensor here and it's got the two sensors on the back here as well as the blue circuit. That also identifies it. It's the um, Synchro Guide the Dorman cone lamp. Synchro cone light they've got written on here. The idea is you'd have a whole bunch of those. I don't know if there's a limit that can sync up, but when you've got like 
more than one of these together, so if you had two, three, four, five together in a row, they will flash in a sequence. Um, they also burn steady as well as a steady burn, so they're constantly lit, lit, but they flash brighter, if that makes sense, when they flash. So, uh, again, <laughs> the more expensive version, cheapest chips, expensive. And uh, pretty well used. This one looks like it's been thrown around on the road quite a bit. <laughs> so, that is the dormant part of my collection. So, uh, the next segment I'll go through my uh, JSP lamp. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, next up I've got my collection of JSP lamps. JSP stands for Johnstone Safety Products and they are still in existence today. They still trade, they still make products. Um, in fact, they still make these. Just a slightly different version. And they still make the modern version of these maxi lights. Um, so I'm going to start from this end and just work along. These ones are no longer produced and we've got two plasti flashes which uh, considering they're made of plastic and they flash uh, <laughs> it's almost like uh, the guy that came up with the names was on holiday or something because that just seems uh, you know like really <laughs> they called it the plasti flash. <laughs> Especially when you look at this one, and they call that the steel flash, because it's made of steel. <laughs> um, there is another version of these, which is extremely hard to get hold of. And it's called the Metro Light. Probably because it was used on the railways, and it's got a big square handle on it. I am watching one on eBay, and I'm going to... When I, if it's still for sale when I next have some money, I'm going to put an offer in. We've got a visitor on the bed. <laughs> so yeah, the, the steel flash also doesn't have that little loop on the top. Um, but I will say this one was very kindly another free one that was sent to me. By a, um, an eBay friend of mine. Um, same as this maxi light, which is the modern version they do. This is the LED version, and it's got two switch holes on the back. Um, so it's got power on and off. I can't remember which switch does what, but it's got power on and off. And then it's got a switch that can switch between flashing and steady burn. So it's like an all-in-one. It's also got photo cell in it, so it will only come on at night and go off in daylight to save on your battery even more. And I've actually just noticed this one's got screws in the lens. None of these ones have, I don't think. No, they're just press fit. This one is basically the same. The only difference is that it's an older incandescent bulb type lamp with a uh, bracket on it. Um, that's a scaffold bracket by the way then we've got again another bog standard maxi light these are the maxi light navigator by the way which has got the incandescent bulb in so that's quite those two are probably quite old them ones this one on the end is quite an interesting one i have got a video of this one this one was another free one sent to me i'm pretty certain i bought the one with the scaffold bracket but from the same guy actually that sent me um, some of these free lamps because um, it's meant to have red lenses in but they broke so the original owner put amber ones in it's got red LEDs in it and uh, which to me indicates railway use again the lens doesn't rotate either it's fixed and a lot of railway lamps uh, had fixed heads and they cheated, they've just put some self-tapping screws in there <laughs> just to stop it rotating um, 
but like with these ones they've got where the little hole is in the front is where you would poke your little um, your little spike on the proper JSP because I've got the proper keys for these JSP lights and I've got like a little pin on one end of the key and you just poke it in those little holes and turn them on and off you don't do that with this one but to turn it on you stand it up like that or hang it upright so you could hang it on the hanger. So long as it's in that position, it will flash. To turn it off, you simply do that. Or do that. And it will turn off. So it's got a tilt switch in it, which I thought was quite interesting. Now there is a few more, <coughs> excuse me, a few more versions of these lights. Just with different coloured lenses. I need one with the red lenses. One with white lenses and one with blue lenses. And uh, they are hard to get. I do see the one with the blue lens in pop up on eBay every now and again. But they are rare. Extremely rare. Um, so I am, I am keeping my eyes open for that. Down here. Actually I'll start with this one. This one I got on eBay, brand new, it's a JSP Microlite. Um, I do believe they still make these, I don't know if they, I can't remember if they look exactly like this, but I know they still make the uh, Microlite. Uh, yeah, that's brand spanking new. So it's got some marks from storage. Uh, and then we've got my selection of uh, mini lights. And I remember around the late 1990s, early 2000s, these uh, being used quite a lot at roadworks. Well, most of the time I only saw the bases because the tops would have either been taken off and thrown so people nicked the batteries or they would have just got knocked off. But uh, we've got this one, which is the only one I've personally seen on eBay. Um, red lens again, railway most likely. Um, that was probably the most expensive micro light I've ever bought. That was a mini light, rather. That's the micro light. I keep getting them confused. It's like I get my um, traffic lamps and traffic lights confused as well. Anyway, I've then got this one, which is a flash version, because that one is steady burn as are those three but there is a difference with the other three I'll come to that in a minute I don't think this has got a photo cell I'm just looking in the lens and I can't see one in the circuit so I think that's just a flash these two they got the same yeah they've got the same circuit boards in are um, static burn or steady burn I should say with photo cell that one is steady burn no photo cell <coughs> So I've got quite the option there. Uh, I have actually had a count up. I've got about 50 individual different lamps. I know like them ones look the same and whatnot, but they are different in some way. Um, not as many as, as I actually thought, but if I count up the duplicates I've got, then it would add up to 60. Anyway, I'm just going to turn off and prepare for the next lot, so I'll be back in a moment. Right. I've actually got batteries in them lamps. I have Nissans in the middle with an RMJ this end and an RMJ that end. And that one's got a pretty low battery in it, that's why it's dim. But, uh... That one was another free one sent by the same eBay. I'm very grateful for these free ones I've got. It's in good condition and I, th I can't remember if these are from the 70s or the 80s. But that's in very good condition. If anyone wanted one of these, there is some on eBay at the moment. Uh, in various conditions. Some of them I've seen for sale for a long, long time. Next, I've got this Nissan. I can't remember what was it called. The Monolite 
two. That one. Mm, interesting. But uh, it's the sign light version. So it's got just a blank panel on that side, white lens on that side, and you mount it above your signs on the motorway and it will light them up. Uh, I did have two of these at one point. This one was sent to me not working by the same guy on eBay. And I can't remember his username at the minute. Um, but the reason he sent this is because my other one had a broken body. The clip and everything was all broken at the front here. Um, but this one had a broken circuit board in it. I tried fixing it, couldn't fix it. So what I did, I took the circuit board out of my one with the broken body and put it in this one and just made a perfectly good one with it. So, there we go. Those two are LED, by the way. Then we've got the cone light. The Nissan Kuni lamp. Just a box stand one. Works the same way as the Dorman cone light. It's got the little switch there. So when you stick it on the cone, it just pushes that switch up. Photo cell in that as well, and I believe both of those have got photo cells in. This looks identical, apart from the fact it's got a black base. And if you notice, a little black strip in here, because... It's also got the two there as well. So this is another Kony lamp. These are German, by the way. It's actually got Made in Germany written on it. But these are sequential, just like the um, Synchro Guide cone, la cone Lamp I've got. They don't work with each other though. But the principle is the same. You'd have a bunch of these all lined up along the road and they will all flash in a sequence. They automatically um, sync up. And I've got this thing which I actually got from an ex-police officer, a retired police officer. Uh, again, would have been used by the police to mark incidents. It's actually got a um, xenon strobe in this one. The base is missing. I didn't get the base with it. And if you can hear that whine, that's the um, cap charging before it discharges. The switch was also broken, so I replaced the button switch. I've just connected up a 9 volt battery clip under here and a 9 volt battery so I can actually, uh, technically it can still be used. <laughs> Flash doesn't pick up well with the camera, does it? Okay. That is my Nissans. I don't have many Nissans. I don't actually know how many varieties Nissan do, at least over here. I haven't seen the Dorman cone lights over here for a while, but I know they're still made. Uh, right, let's move on. Right, the last batch. And because there's so few of each, I decided to do them together. So, as always, starting from this end, we've got a wolf lamp. Now, I'll get this one a bit cheap because it's got crack there. The seller I got this from has another one. Um, at not a bad price, considering these retail at around about 50, 60 quid brand new. Straight from the dealer. Here they are, still made. The Wolf Safety Lamp Company Hazard Warning lamp, um, lamp. Do not open or exchange battery in hazardous areas. Static hazard. Clean only with damp cloth. Do not use solvents. These are designed, even the electrics are actually pod. They're in like a little tube and then there's like a glue stuff it's filled with to, you know, stop sparks, etc. Um, but these are designed for hazardous areas like mines and whatnot. Hence the protective grill in the front there. I do believe... It's going to be too hard to do it one hand but it comes apart in two sections again I've got the bolt but I 
actually don't know where the bolt is. <laughs> so that's the wolf. And there is what I think the seller is selling it for about 20 quid on eBay. Don't hold me to that though. Next, I've got four different Tildorns. We've got the Tildorn mono lamp, which is LED, and uh, there's also a blue version of this, uh, which I want to get hold of. I've got four more of these arriving. One of them is already spoken for, and I will keep another one because I do like at least to have a pair. I actually missed out getting another one for that one, but never mind. Um, get this just like the JSP MaxiLite Navigator, this has got the two buttons, power on and off, and then select between flash and uh, steady burn. It's also got a built-in cone bracket there, along with a bolt there, and I'm not sure what them four holes are. Maybe to bolt a bracket of some sort on. Not my favourite of lamps, to be honest. It really isn't, but that one actually looks brand new. I can't remember where I got that from, to be honest. Then we've got the Tildorn Guardsman. Supplied by a Parker, Frank Parker. This has got cobwebs on it where it's been on the shelf. Uh, I remember my local electricity company at the time. The company that maintains all the cables and whatnot were using these. So, uh, yeah, I do want to get hold of another one, but these aren't common either. And they do these in various lens colours as well, red, blue, pretty certain there's a green and a white as well. So, I've got to keep my eyes open again, rare to come across. Then I've got this one, which I think is a newer version to the Dorman, th um, not the Dorman, the Pilot 360 there. And I've got about another two of the, I think it's two of these. It's hard to see in the photo, but these look just like the Dorman Eco Light. It's just the lens is different and the body is a little bit different. It's got the mountain bolt there. Dusk to Dawn feature on it, so it's got a photo cell if memory serves correctly. I like this style. This one doesn't have the plastic strap though, it seems to have uh, broken off. So I'm definitely going to be keeping one in my job lot that I've got coming. It has been posted out today. Uh, so that should come next week along with a new Tildorn. A very rare Tildorn actually. Probably just as rare as those ones now. Um, all coming next week which I will do a video on. Moving along we've got this one. Which is a Renix. Renix MFG, so I don't know if that stands for manufacturing or whatever. Limited Dublin, Ireland. And if I remember rightly, that's just a steady bird. And unusually, because it is, um, it's a requirement over here that lamps have these reflective bands on or reflectors around here, some sort of reflector. So. This is unusually got a reflector built in like that, not a reflective strip. That's a reflective sticker. I can't remember what they call it now, scotch light or something. That mono light has got it as well. This one's got it. Um, but they've, Renix opted for this um, actual plastic reflector. Not a common one. I've only seen one other on eBay. So I do frequently look on eBay to see what's on there. Anyway, moving on to this one. This one's called Permic. And I remember back in the day as well, back in the 90s, some roadworks using these as well. What a weird looking design actually. But it does the job they were intended to do, so. And we've got this one. I think Batchley, yes, yeah, supplied by Batchley of Ivor. Um, it's got BLW up in that top corner. Then it's got Visibility England, so I presume Visibility was the um, manufacturer. 
I have got a new base to put on this one because um, the eBay that has very kindly put, you know posted me all those free lamps has posted me a few spares as well which I've got in a box in the cupboard right these ones are my American ones this one is called an in-case Colt Hopedale MA and if MA were or if my memory serves correct rather, not my MA. <laughs> I believe that's Massachusetts. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's got the number 600 there. I don't know if that's the model number, the Colt 600. Oh, I didn't actually import these from America. These were being sold by UK sellers on eBay. Then got this nice red one. And I'm just trying to find the name on this one because I can't remember who it is. It's on the other side. This one is an Emco light, model number 400. Eloin IL, and I'm pretty certain IL is Illinois. So there we go, that's travelled a long way, hasn't it? Again, another UK seller, because the postage is so much to get from abroad. And this one is got Cortina written on it, Cortina Safety Products. The Strato Light, or Cortina um, Safety Products Group, I should say. That's the same on this side, I think. Yeah. Type AC. Yeah, the Strato Light. That actually looks brand new, to be honest. It doesn't look like it's been used. So there's. Um, well, it might have some storage that might have been used, but so apart from these, which are the only two old paraffin lamps I have that were also used at Roadworks back in the day, uh, that is it. Those ones do work. I have got videos on my. Uh, channel showing them all lit up I do want to get some more there's a few more types that I regularly see on eBay that I do want to get so uh, anyway I do hope you like this video and a little walkthrough of the lamp collection which is steadily growing uh, you know, I've got my favourites, I've got my least favourites. But there's still loads out there. Because I wouldn't mind, you know, getting some more from, like, America and whatnot. So, uh... We'll see. And I've just noticed there's something down in that corner. It's really bugging me, but I can't see it on the actual lens itself. See what I find uh, an alcoholic wipe or something. Just clean that down. I might get rid of it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't, subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.